This looks so easy. How about we just load up the bike and go to a vacant parking lot? That sound good? Yeah. 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 That's what you made the mistake last time. You're just like, oh, it's dying. Where'd it go? Give gas. <laughs> And that's how I managed to completely destroy myself that day. At least we got a lifetime memory of laughing at Jesse. I got a few of those. Whenever you let go of the clutch, you're giving the load to the vehicle. Just like this thing, it has gears. See if I left clutch too quickly? It does that. That's because the load was way too much load in a second. It didn't have enough fuel. Make sense? There's always a constant balance between how much fuel you're giving the bike or how much bike how much fuel the bike has. And what you're doing with getting the clutch. You're balancing the clutch load and the engine load and giving it fuel at the same time. Just like fire. You have three components of fire. What are they? Oxygen, fuel, and something. Air. Okay. Well, the carburetor does the mixture of fuel and air and does that balancing for you, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's the same principle. In order to go forward, you need to nurse the flame, so to speak. You need to make sure that has enough air, which in this case would be the bottle. And you need to make sure that it has enough fuel. Well, I guess the fuel would be fuel. And you need to make sure that it has enough air, which will use air as load. If it has too little air, or not enough air, tries to get too much air, and doesn't have it, it'll kill out. It's getting too much load. Whenever the engine starts straining and acting like it's going to die out, it's because you're giving it too much to handle at once. Slow off the clutch very slowly, and there you go. I'm doing it, Daddy. Hello, YouTube. It's me, Shadowfoot, once again. And I am finally teaching Napa how to ride a motorcycle. This is the first time he's ever been able to actually get out of first gear. Actually, he's not out of first gear yet, but... How are you enjoying your bird? How are you enjoying your ride? Tell the viewers what you think of it. We've been out here for about five minutes now, and... He's enjoying himself going in circles and circles and circles. And soon I should start training him to uh, get into parking positions. I already showed him the test that he has to do. The obstacle course is right over there. And um, yeah, I can see him probably being on a bike uh, all by himself, probably in a month or so. Uh, now he's getting comfortable with the throttle. Way too far to the left. You said go to the left. Yeah, but turn off the bike. Turn off the bike? Yeah, I'll show you something. Kick sand down. Up. Now down. It's gonna lean into the other thing and something's gonna take my handlebars and my mirror. Yep. So not to mention it gets up a little bit further when you let go of it because it's on a spring. So to the left, but not this far to the left. Right. So, hold on, let me prove You should be able to put three motorcycles in a single parking space unless you want to be greedy. Hey, where's the fun of being convenient for other people? Two people is a normal. Uh, you're on switch. Oh, right. Now, now we should try a little bit more advanced now that you got this down to a science. We should go and have everything that's yellow is a brick wall. Oh, that's bullshit. 
if you're in a busy parking lot, everything that is yellow is literally a car. Okay. So this is where you go into real world. So I have to back out of the spot, go around, and not hit a yellow line. Right. If I had my laser pointer, this would be a lot easier because I can point to the spot I want you to park in. All right. But, you uh, got your flashlight, don't you? Kind of, but it's not that kind of flashlight. It doesn't have a lot of range, like pointing range. It just give you a vague idea. But that means that now you have to learn something else. What's that? First, you want to be in neutral. Okay? Make them off this. All right. Now, taxi. There you go. Taxi yourself. Don't hit the yellow wall. There's fun parts in motorcycles, but there's also the, you know, you have to accompany and abide by other drivers. In fact, you're supposed to get so good at being on a motorcycle that you have to be better than everyone else on the road. Otherwise, it's flat. So this, yeah. I didn't have time to stop. There was no possible way. All right. So we're going to treat this like a normal parking lot. Each intersection, like each crossways, when you make a turn, you're probably going to want to stop and check. And, you know, just act like a normal parking lot. Yeah. In a parking lot, there is a liability clause. So don't get near those. Try to go that way. Also, with this being a motorcycle, you should be able to do a U-turn like that without going to the yellow. I don't trust myself like I can do that. So I'm going to taxi myself. Got to get used to the bike or it'll throw you off. I know. What did I tell you? What was the one thing that I told you? You'll either fuck this bike or the bike will fuck you. Exactly. Also to treat your bike like it's a bitch you Exactly. What do you say to that, children? <laughs> yeah. I believe in you. Just not in you going around these vehicles. hearing the engine bog down. Listen, when you start hearing the engine bog down, or a clutch. No. Give it a little, little bit, bit of gas. fuel. Not all of it. For those who don't know, there was a small incident in the back. Little bit. Sure. Turn off. Oh, so I'm telling you. All right. So he was teaching me how to drive his much nicer, much more expensive motorcycle. And I may or may not have gave it a little too much gas. And I may or may not have hit a parked car in like 10 feet. May or may not have. Legal disclaimer. <laughs> mm hmm. And what'd you learn from your mistake? Only give it a little bit of gas. <laughs> to get it going. And then when you have gas, go. <laughs> All right. So we should just really do stop and goes. Stop and go. That's pretty much what your weakness is. Just, stop and go. Just balancing the clutch and the gas. It is really, in all honesty. And once you get used to it, I mean, each bike is different as far as how it feels, but once you learn one. So, like, once I get this, it'll be a little easier to get Artemis going or Athena if you ever trust me with that one. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> You're not getting on Athena. Ever. But this one you're going to buy. Because you told me you're going to buy it. Too much gas. Huh? Too much gas. Yeah, you still have to balance the clutch too. Just because you give it gas doesn't mean you can just let go. You'll feel whenever it starts picking up and it'll start going on its own. So how's that working out for you? Um, hit and miss. 
Didn't miss. But I'm learning, like the bike pulling itself. I can start to do that a little bit. That's me give it a little bit. Or I let off too much. Yeah, don't continue letting off whenever you feel that's fogging down. That's when you stop letting off. That makes you get gas. A little bit of fuel, and then you can let off all the way. Or there's another way you can do it, which is not the recommended way, like your previous accident, where you give it more fuel, and then you can let off. So, how did you enjoy your forced riding without crashing? <laughs> My forced riding without crashing. Um, it was fun, enjoyable. Bikes give you a lot of freedom. You feel like infinite. Are you high? No. I'm completely sober, to be honest. <laughs> but it makes you feel high. Yeah, it, it, it's a kind of high on its own. Okay. So, do you want to do it again? Hell yeah. Do you want to do it tomorrow? Hell yeah. Can I crash? No. <laughs> you were waiting to see if I'd say hell yeah, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> let's, not, let's not even joke about that. Let's just not even joke about that. Not even joke about that? No, let's not even joke about it. I need to get you good enough so that way we can actually both ride the bikes at the same time. Right, take them out on the bike, you know, out on the roads and shit. Yeah, I give us uh, a month to do that. A month? All Sounds right. reasonable if you, if you train two days, three days a week. Right. That's manageable. You already picked up a lot of gain. What did you learn today? Um, one, how to let off the clutch to the point I don't kill the bike every 10 seconds. Um, I learned control more than anything, too. Like, I've also learned not to be afraid that you're going to kill it, because mentally, if you think you're going to kill it, you're going to kill it. That was my biggest thing when we'd be out at, like, the trails and shit out by your house. I was like, oh, God, I'm going to kill this bike. Cool. So what would you say to any of the new riders that want to learn how to ride but are too afraid to? Just say fuck it and do it. Like, don't even think about it. Just, just fuck it. Take a leap of faith. And perhaps not crash? And yeah, don't crash. Crash not good. Listen to your instructors. Yeah, listen to your instructors, even if they are a long-haired weirdo. <laughs> so, anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for joining my channel. Till See next you. time. See you next time.